Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new Let's Play series of Arthanex Plays Factorio. Well, I got a few things to say before I get this thing going. First of all, for those of you who are not familiar with Factorio, it is a colony slash factory building simulator. It's one of those games that's been out for several years, it's been kicking around. It's developed by a very small team, I think just one person is responsible for the development, who's had it available and it's essentially early access for several years now, kind of similar in that vein to RimWorld. It's a, in addition to him, however, it has a very large and active modding community, which I'm going to be taking full advantage of in this playthrough, and it's, uh, it's one of those games that when it first came out, I checked it out, I was interested in it, but it was just too primitive and not enough features for me to really feel like I could really get into it. But now that it's been in development for a couple of years, and especially with the mods that have come out for it, I feel like it is in much better shape and I've had a ton of fun with it. And this is not going to be a blind playthrough, but Factorio is one of those games that it's, while it's easy to learn the basics and it's relatively easy to kind of figure stuff out you never finish learning how to play this game this game is so intricate and complex and there's so many different things that you can do and react to and go for that and different ways of doing things that you're always you're always learning and it's the type of game where you know you could you could put as much into it as you want basically if you just kind of want to play it at a pretty basic level you can just play the vanilla game and it's not very, it's not super complicated. Well, I mean, it is, I, let me rephrase that. It is super complicated, but it's not, not nearly as complicated as what you're going to see in this playthrough. But it's much, um, it's not overly complicated, maybe it would be a better way to put it. And it's still a lot of fun. However, if you really get into kind of the, 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 the elegant design theory, some people try and build just, you know, massive factories that are processing massive amounts of raw materials and and other people are more interested in, you know, the best way to, the most elegant solutions to problems. Other people just kind of want to play through the game and figure stuff out. I'm kind of more in that vein. So there's a lot of things in this game that I have not explored. I've played through it a few times. I've enjoyed it. I'm Every time I play through it, I learn new new things about it. And experiment with new parts of the game that I haven't done before so I'll definitely be doing some of that in this playthrough and for those factorial purists out there I apologize I'm certainly not a master of this game uh, I'm a enthusiastic amateur and I'm sure that there'll be lots of things that I do that could be done more efficiently or better or in different ways so feel free to, to give me suggestions or to give me feedback about those types of things. Just, just be aware that I'm not trying to say that this is the perfect or ideal way to play Factorio. Also, uh, I want to get one other thing, you know, make one other thing clear and plain before I unpause the video. I, I'm not going to show you every second of this Factorio playthrough because I feel like that would kind of be a waste of everybody's time. There's a lot of things in Factorio that are repetitive and redundant and that, you, you know, that involve me kind of doing math and figuring stuff out, the best ratios and things like that. So you're going to see some of that just because it's unavoidable. That's a lot of what Factorio is. But I'm going to endeavor to cut at least some of that out. So the plan is... You know, anytime I'm working on the bus, building new things, anytime I do something that's new, anytime I'm exploring or fighting biters or um, planning or laying out something that's new, the plan is, or anytime there's a major problem crops up with the factory, the plan is to do an episode. And depending on how long that whatever it is takes, there might also be just some, you know, some other things that happen in that gameplay. But if, you know, if we're going through long stretches of time where I'm just kind of repeating things that I've already done or, you know, messing around or, you know, whatever, then then some of that will get recorded, but a lot of it probably won't. So just be aware, you know, don't plan on seeing every second of this factorial playthrough because I'm not planning on doing it. You know, same thing with episodes. I'm not sure exactly. I mean, you know, I'll try and do an episode a day like I usually do. We'll, you know, I'll definitely start off with some backlog. 
so we can get the series off to a good start. But depending on, you know, this is a game that I kind of pick up and put down more than other games. So we may not be as super, cons I may not be as super consistent on one episode a day. Well, we'll see. All right. So let's go ahead and hit resume and get started. You can see I have a desert starting location. I, I actually re-rolled the starting location a few times so I could get one that didn't have a ton of trees because there's, you know, <laughs> nothing more tedious at the start of the game than watching me just sit around and shoot trees. So there's not a lot of trees. There's a lot of desert, which is going to slow down our running ability some, but, you know, that's all right. All right, so, um, oh, I should talk about the mods that I'm using, but I can do that as, as we go here. So let's see. I need to go. I do need some trees here so I can get some wood. Or initial for my initial fuel here so I can start getting some coal there is um, oh, let's see I think it starts me with uh, oh, yeah, a little bit of iron here so I can craft myself a couple of iron axes speed up the chopping process a little bit so mods right the primary mods I'm playing with is uh, Bob's mods and angels ores so for those of you who are not familiar with those Bob's mods r dramatically redoes basically the whole game. He adds a lot of quality of life improvements, a lot of things that make the game smoother and easier. Uh, you'll kind of see those as we go through. I'm certainly not going to point them out. I actually haven't played enough vanilla or and Bob's mods Factorios to know for sure all of the different things that he's changed. Um, but it also makes the game a lot more complicated. These new things are nice, but in order to kind of, I guess, compensate for that, there's a lot of new materials that you have to use, tons of new recipes that you have to make. Um, it's basically, you know, a huge kind of new complicated thing. Angel's Ores is kind of more of the same. Um, Bob's Mods added all of these new materials, and originally he just had different, um, basically, uh, different mineral deposits for most of them, like zinc deposits and... Um, you know, tin deposits and all these different things. But Angel's Ores has taken it, and so instead of getting the materials right away, you mine these raw ores, which have names like Seraphite and Staterite and Jovite, and then you have to process them in order to make the actual ores that you use. Well, you you know, there's there's several different ways you can process them, depending on how much, you know, how much you've researched, what materials you have available, and what you're looking to get out of them. But basically, you know, the more, the more you can refine them in several different ways. And depending on how you refine them, you'll get different things out of them. But instead of just mining the materials and putting them on your belt and sending them to your factory, now you actually have to process the ores before you can use them. All right, that should give me enough wood to uh, get things started here. So we'll throw a little bit of wood in there so we can start mining some coal and we'll make a wooden chest. I'm pointing in that direction, right? Yeah. Uh, all right, so I'll go ahead and let that mine coal for a little while. So there's there's a bunch of other mods I'm using. I'm obviously using the brighter lights mod to keep so that you guys can see what's going on a little bit better at night. Um, I have some interface mods. You can see the Biter Rev Evolution mod, the Playtime mod, Research Q. Uh, that reminds me, I should probably not be researching armor crafting. We'll start by researching logistics, I guess. And we can use the Research Q. I have Auto Research Q enabled, so we'll automatically queue things up if I forget. So at least we'll be researching something. But I also have this so that. I can manually tell it that I want to do automation, for example. And the other thing I need to do is, I forget what the symbol is for it. Uh, no, one more, oh, automation, sure. Automation, logistics, and no, it's not turrets, although I will need those, obviously. It's not steel processing. Not armor crafting. Is 
that's it it's mechanical refining so I need these three before I can actually really kind of start making a factory until I get those three I'm just gonna be kind of puttering around and doing a bunch of stuff by hand so all right in the meantime we got 28 coal that we've already mined you can see that I have this ore crusher here. I'm going to need that before I can start actually smelting ores. But I want to mine just a little bit more coal up here. And taking a look at our initial starting area, you know, we're in the middle of a lot of deserts. Long term planning, I'm probably going to have my bus down here. I usually build horizontal buses going left to right. So over here will kind of be the ore processing area, which will take up actually. In my previous playthrough, it, it actually winds up taking quite a, bit, quite a bit more space than the bus does, believe it or not. But we'll see how it goes. So that'll be over here, and then over here will be where the actual bus is. Right, how's this doing? 72 wood, 44 coal. All right, I'm going to call that good for now. And we'll go start actually making some iron. So in order to get iron, the first way that you get iron in this is with sapphire, which is this blue metal down here. So we'll throw down one of these. I'll put it into a box for now. And we'll make sure that we have some coal in here. Then we're going to have to craft... Um, let's see. Oh, we're just going to have to do it manly, manually for a little bit. So oh, before we can do that, we need to put it into a ore crusher, which looks like this. And let me move that over one. Okay, we're going to tell this we're going to do sapphire ore crushing. We're going to grab the sapphire ore. We'll throw it in the ore crusher, and that's going to give us crushed sapphire and crushed stone. So once we have the crushed sapphire and crush the crushed sapphire, now we can put that in here along with some coal. Obviously, you can see how I have autofill. Also, I'm gonna pull that out of here, and then it will start smelting iron. And then I can use the iron to actually start making some inserters so I don't have to move everything over by hand. But I have to let it process for a little bit. So it takes three, if I just smelt the crushed sapphire, it takes three crushed sapphire to make one iron ore, which is not particularly efficient. I can get a much better ratios later on, but it's going to require more complicated chains. So let's make some burner inserters so I don't have to keep doing this by hand. So we'll do that there, and then for this, we're going to have to use a chest because otherwise the stone will cause the whole thing to get backed up. And I guess we'll just use wood for now to power that. And there we go. We have we have iron getting smelted automatically uh, or as automatically as we can with the limited amount of coal that we have. So the next thing is we're going to save up enough iron to craft some more burner inserters and get an automatic coal production thing. I also have the long reach mod enabled, which is going to... So the combination of the long reach mod and autofill means that clearing biter nests is not really an issue in this game. I, I actually don't... You know, some people might think that's a little bit unbalanced and... I, I can't really say that you're wrong. You know, I could set this up a lot better, couldn't I? Because this thing, you can see there's this mod I have. This thing is output restricted most of the time. So I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to pick this up. 
that up. We're going to get another chest. Uh, we'll put the chest there. We'll put another inserter. We're going to have to make a couple more inserters. And we're probably going to want another one of these, too. We're still output restricted, but we're better off than we were. Anyway, what was I talking about? I don't even remember. I'm not even sure I need this. Oh, right, I was going to make some more burner inserters. Well, or some more uh, burner mining drills. Well, we will definitely do that uh, when we get the iron for it. So those guys are in here. So we made one already. We kind of need four. We're going to need some more stone, but fortunately we're getting a bunch of stone out of this. We can t turn crushed stone into regular stone. So that's how we get stone, because you don't mine stone with angel's ores. Uh, right, so we're out of fuel in here. Uh, we can just use some wood for now. I could probably just use two burner mining drills, actually. I'm not sure how much coal I'm going to need, but probably will probably do me for a while. If I set them up to feed into each other, it should work. So, I'm going to have to take this out. But, yeah. They'll feeding to each other, so those will go until they till this their storage fills up, which should give me enough coal. Do what I need to do, and you pick up the iron out of there. And I think we could support another burner mining drill. Another wooden chest. Right, so we're out of wood and we're out of coal. I'd rather hang on to my wood, so let's grab the coal out of there. Throw some coal in there. Where are we still we still using wood for any of this? Yeah. Pull the wood out. A small amount of coal that's built up over there. We're not quite out of stone yet, but we might as well grab some more. Basically, we're just going to have to babysit these for a little while until we get enough iron to actually get the first our first semblance of a factory going. And the first task is actually going to be to get some power going. So we have coal and water conveniently right next to each other up here, so we'll probably build some power up there. I'd like to get some more burner, miner, burner mining drills going though. Let's build a couple of those. 
the 38 iron. And I think I will go ahead and switch this over to a four rotation. So those will all feed into each other and that will make sure that should make sure that we have plenty of coal going. We're going to need a little bit of copper. And we're going to need more iron, which means I'm going to need more of these ore crushers. I feel like this is about the right ratio for this. So Right, so the, res the ore crushers are down here in research resource refining, so to make another ore crusher, I want a couple more chests, make some more inserters, and we need two more furnaces. Oh, and we also need two more of those and that's going to use up our furnaces so make another furnace we're short on stone grab the stone out of here and make another furnace and then we'll do something like that something like that chest there and a couple more chests here and burner inserters we're out of coal and not burner inserters burner mining drills have the coal out of here Some coal in there. There's some coal in there. Oh, we gotta tell that we wanna do sapphirite. We'll throw some coal in there. Oh, and then put those down. Throw some coal in there. That going. All right. All right. That should give us enough iron production for the very, very beginning of the game. Now we need some copper production, uh, not a ton, one, one mining setup ought to be enough for that. So to do that we need steritite, which is up there, that light blue one. So let's do another ore crusher, two more mining drills, two stone furnaces, and ten more burning mining drills, and we're going to need some more coal. We'll let that keep mining. Come up here. We need to chop some more wood. Which is fine. Nothing. This, this, these forests don't take too long to chop, and I do need the wood, probably, eventually. These chopped. Set this up, like 
here. Oh, we need some wooden chests. Doo -doo -doo. Once I get things started, I also have uh, handy hands enabled for this. So once I get this started, I'll start using the, that as well. So we need those like that. Uh, and Finally, like that, tell this we're going to do steratite. And again, it takes us three steratite ore for one copper. Or for two copper, sorry, I said one, I meant two. It's also uh, a little bit, takes a little bit longer to mine steratite. So actually, we might even want three. Well, if I wanted to be efficient, I guess I'd have th I'd set this up differently. So I have three mining drills feeding this, but I don't need that much copper. So I'm not actually going to worry about it. Uh, what I am going to worry about though is making sure that this has enough coal to go for a little while. I should keep this going for a while. Get a little bit of copper out of that. Even when I pull them out, as long as at least one of them's going, they'll all restart fairly soon. All right, so we'll probably need some more coal down here where our iron is. Yep. Quite a bit more coal, actually. And we have probably quite a bit of iron waiting to pick up. All right, now. Let's start crafting, hmm. Let's throw some belt there. We're gonna need some power lines. And let's start using handy hands. So. We'll go ahead and go up of handy hems craft me a hundred well probably overkill for the start of the game in there set that up like that start crafting me belt actually i think i am going to go up to a hundred it'll take it a little while to craft all of that but I'm going to need at least that much in order to set up power. So I'll go ahead and let it craft that. Some more copper. Doesn't look like anything's out of coal just yet. Got plenty of wood for now. Okay, this is now out of coal. So the next thing we're going to make is some steam engines. We still have 93 iron left. Excellent. So then make four steam engines and then that uses up the 93 iron. <laughs> so it's uh, 14 to 10 for the Mark 1s. 14 boilers and, or is it 13? 
I don't remember. I believe it's 14, but it might be 13. 13 or 14 uh, steam engines for 10 boilers. I need a water pump as well. And I'm going to go ahead and just craft the whole one whole setup. Actually, no, I'm not. So we got. Yeah. Go ahead and make me. I need one of those. And boilers. I need more stone for the boilers. Grab the stone. And five, ten, thirteen, fourteen. I'll go ahead and make all the boilers. Coal seems to be holding steady. Oh, and looks like that's going to do it for this episode while I'm pocket crafting all these power plants. We need power before we can start doing research, and we need logistics before, and automation, and uh, mechanical ore processing before we can really start building a factory. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully, you're enjoying it so far as we start getting this factory. Well, it's not really going to be off the ground as we start taking our first steps toward a factory. I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, have a terrific day.